creation of your personal cloud. The cloud is perfect for sharing your photos, videos and documents, but most of the internet cloud-based services are limited and we wanted to expand them and make it even easier to share content with your family and loved ones. We also saw an opportunity to bundle a private cloud with an intelligent home entertainment system while giving the user all the benefits of the Android experience, letting them access Play Store and Samsung apps. This is an end-to-end -end solution. This is private and secure. This is your own personal cloud that you maintain in your own home. This is HomeSync. The basis of any cloud concept that you'll find online is a bank of service located somewhere in the world. It can be anywhere and you can access it anywhere, which sounds great, but it isn't yours. HomeSync is a new cloud concept that lets you store and share without that server. And in fact, the concept couldn't be simpler and more powerful than that. This little device that you set up in your own home has a one terabyte internal hard drive that gives you plenty of storage capacity for you and your family. One terabyte. And it's so easy to upload and download content. It's easy to share with multiple users and it's easy to connect the various devices that you have in your home. Some cloud services will give you 50 gigs for free, which is great. But you'll find that you run out of that very quickly. And what's left is a paid solution that you just keep on paying for. With a terabyte, you'll be set for a long, long time. It's really easy to set up. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone and you want to connect with your HomeSync. You start by downloading the HomeSync app that just takes a moment or two. And then by using the NFC tag, you pair the device. It's as easy as that. And from the device, you can control your whole app and it has all the support and the comfort that you expect from a Samsung device. It has a very powerful dual-core processor with one gigabyte of RAM, and it supports all of your standard peripherals like HDMI, Wi-Fi, USB 3.0, and optical audio. This is your own personal cloud, and you share it with the people you want on the devices you want. There is enough space for even the largest family, and it's so easy to share content with family and friends that are also very far away. You have private and uh, shared areas, and I mentioned the media center before. HomeSync is running on the latest version of Android and it can be used as a media player. So if you connect your HomeSync to your TV via HDMI, you can access the Samsung Hub, Google Play Store, and you can enjoy all this amazing content that is out there. It's a true Android experience. And that means also that it's easy to control and navigate once you pair your Galaxy device there are several different options to do so. For example, you can use the remote mouse feature from your smartphone, which uses a six-axis sensor. Or you can use the credit keyboard on your device, or you can even use the touch screen on your device as if it was a touchpad on a notebook computer. It's also easy to show the smartphone content on your TV, and this works seamlessly with HomeSync. You don't even need a separate dongle to make the connection, and using this feature, you can beam your photos and videos onto the big screen with ease. You can even share the game you're playing on the screen, on your TV screen, and enjoy it with family and friends. So you see, it's really easy, the concept from mobile to TV via HomeSync. We think this is a very promising and interesting solution, and we hope that you're going to take your time to learn more about that here in our Samsung Zone. Now, the next few minutes, I want to introduce you to a brand new revolutionary mobile enterprise solution called Samsung Knox. There we go. The wide adoption of smartphones has revolutionized our corporate lives as well as our private lives. The most noticeable trend in the enterprise market is BYOD, bring your own device to work. A new trend, of course, brings new challenges with it. So in this case, that would be the level of mobile security and manageability, as well as the protection of the privacy of the user using the device for work and play. And here